This is a quick recording on how to insert a canvas. So I'm going to go up here to uh, insert, select canvas, and my what I want to insert is on my computer in my downloads folder, and it is... Is that the one? No, in here. There we go. And I want to insert it. You got to select the plane where you want it to go. I'm going to select right there on this side plane. And it puts it in there really small. And you don't really have to do anything with it at this point. So now what I'm going to do is adjust the size of the canvas. I go in here where the canvas is. And I'm going to call this my side profile canvas and if you right click you'll see calibrate and I'm gonna click on the right side and then I just want to find something that uh, is common so 913 millimeters is the wingspan so half of that is 465 so here's the center of the wing here I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna click out here to the edge and I'm going to make this 465 millimeters now that canvas is the right size but I want to move it so that the relationship to my origin makes sense and on these things I like to have my origin on the center of gravity that's just my preference so I'm gonna go back to the canvas right click hit edit canvas and you notice you get these handles here and you can move it, rotate it, whatever you need to do. So I'm going to line it up right here where it says the CG is supposed to be. And then I want to find a good datum line over here on the fuselage. And right here it looks like where the fuselage top of this piece is. I'm going to put it right there. Now I don't know a way to... Um, to put these move these handles on the uh, on the canvas but that will be my datum point my datum line there and there we go so now I want to insert one for the top of the fuselage so I'm gonna go back and some people like to clip their canvases uh, it doesn't matter to me I actually like having the whole thing on both sides um, that way I can see it no matter where I'm at. So I want to insert on the top plane. And I'm just going to click OK. And we're going to call this top profile. Like so. And I'm going to turn this one off. Now you can notice how it puts it in here really tiny. Now we have it, um, it's not oriented the right way because this one it's oriented that way so we need to rotate this so we can do that now or we can do that later I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the size first so I'm gonna right click hit calibrate from here I'm gonna click right here in the middle of that spar and my number was 465 millimeters and one thing to note that you can put in other um, units of measure if you want to and fusion doesn't mind if it's mixed so now we want to edit this go to edit canvas and first we want to rotate it 90 degrees and we'll hit 90 let's come here to the top and line this up with where the center of gravity is and now i'm going to line this up with the center of my fuselage up here. Let's see where we're at. Well, the good thing about the old plans, these guys knew how to draw them and drew the right information on the plans. And let's go home and then we'll put these two together. And now you can see that the top and the bottom are lined up and we should be good to go to start our drawing. Alrighty, thank you very much for watching.